hello lovely people welcome to my kitchen it's yet another day and i'm going to share with you keto real dough yes i call it keto real dough because the nature the texture and everything is just like flour dough the flour the bread flour that we use it's just like it and you're going to love every bit of it you can use this for your pizza your keto meat pie your keto samosas or any keto recipe that requires for flour you can use this and you will love it look at it isn't it beautiful and awesome yes so and it's keto so we are going to activate our yeast we are using half a teaspoon of sugar with warm water of 200 ml the yeast is going to eat all the sugar so don't worry and have a teaspoon of dry instant yeast so mix it and set it aside and allow it to activate for at least five minutes you can give it more time to activate very well okay so let me take you through the ingredients you are going to use we are going to use vital wheat gluten we are going to use almond flour we are going to use oat fiber we are also going to use zantam gum and our sweetener and this is how i've labeled my sweetener not your regular sugar so don't touch it uh -huh. before they start using it for gary soakings let me label it that way <laughs> we are going to use some um, apple cider vinegar we are also going to make uses of butter we are also going to use some salt solution yes and my egg and so i'm going to leave all the quantities in the description box for you to refer to so i'm going to measure 250 ml of um, almond flour and i'm going to measure two of that but later after mixing i realized that my dough was a bit soft or it was too soft for me so i added extra 80 ml to it okay I'm also going to add 125 ml of vital wheat gluten and 125 ml of oat fiber. All these are keto compliant. None of them contains carbohydrates. The oat fiber, the, the oat fiber is the fiber of the oats that has been grinded into the into powder form, and the vital wheat gluten is the gluten that has been taken out of the wheat. So nothing carbohydrate in there so feel free to use them and be happy about it because this is good replacement in keto i'm going to add half a teaspoon of xanthan gum and this is going to help bind it very well and i'm going to add salt solution to it salt solution because i'm using sea salt uh -huh. so i need to make it into solution form i'm adding two teaspoons of the salt solution okay and i'm going to add my butter also to it and the butter is 60 ml 60 ml of butter i'm going to add my egg also to it and i'm going to mix everything together mm -hmm. i forgot to add my sweetener and the um the apple cider vinegar to it and so i'm going to add them the apple cider vinegar is going to help to take the smell of the vital wheat gluten vital wheat gluten has some funny smell you might not like it but if you are okay with it then just forget about the um cider so i'm just going to add one and a half teaspoon of the apple cider vinegar to it and i'm going to add 30 ml of my sweetener this is stevia sweetener granulated type and so i'm going to add it and this is to give it a, some taste and add a bit of taste to it or sweetness to it we are going to check on our yeast and see how far okay it has activated very well this is how it looks when it's activated or when it gets activated i don't know the english to say so we are going to add it bit by bit 
So add everything together and mix it very, very well. Okay. So this is it. Make sure your yeast activates. So if it doesn't activate, eh? Hey, also by a show off. <laughs> <laughs> anyway so we are still mixing everything mixing yes mixing a hey, mixing <laughs> Chale, bro, easy. anyway so i'm going to check on it and then uh, i realized this is very soft i mean it's too soft so when you are um taking your water for the uh, yeast activation just um, reduce the quantity if you are using the exact quantity that i'm using then don't use that amount of water for your yeast activation okay so i'm going to add some vital wheat gluten and i'm going to add 80 ml to it i actually added two of the 80 ml to it uh -huh. so i'm going to add that mix everything together very well and then i am also going to add 80 ml of the um, um how do you call it the almond flour yes i also add 80 ml of almond flour to it and then mix everything together you don't need it very hard you don't need it very soft i mean something in between so this one is still sticky on my hands so if it's still sticky then you need you need to mix it a bit more okay so i just added the um almond flour to it and i'm going to mix everything together i'll leave all the quantities in the description box for you to refer to okay so please if you are watching and you have not yet subscribed consider subscribing don't mind the english and sometimes now Oh, you're your better the more. Eh? <laughs> Share this video, like and leave a comment. I mean, help me grow this channel. So I, this is okay for me. This is okay. So I'm just going to take it out. If you don't have bread machine, you can use your hand to do it. Just make sure you knead and knead it very well. Mm -hmm. So this one, I'm going to knead it with my hand a, a bit because the food processor has done most of the job so this i'm just trying to put everything together and make it a bit smooth before i will leave it for it to rise very very well so we are going to um, put it in a bowl and then cover it with a clean film so this is it so i'm going to cover it with a clean film and then um, also cover it with a neck pin and put it in a warm place yes i'll put it in my oven my oven is off so i'll just put it in there close it for about two hours you can even leave it for two and a half hours you just need it to rise and rise and rise and rise <laughs> okay so that is it I mean, you love this though if you use this to prepare pizza oh my goodness you're going to love it so the two hours is over and see how my dough has risen and i want kind of reason <laughs> so you are trying to take the air out we are taking the air out so <laughs> okay so you see how relaxing it is it is feeling and everything when you give it a time to rise you will love it you just need to exercise patient for it to rise very well sometimes it delays and all that make sure the place is warm and so this is it for our keto dough this you will love it you can use it for any dough recipe like samosas like pizzas like um meat pie and i'm going to bring you recipes on all these and you will love every bit of it if you are watching and you have still not subscribed i beg you consider subscribing share this video like it and leave a comment and hey if you really want to lose weight check the channel for 30 days challenge and follow Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for supporting me every day. Thanks for your likes and comments. Watch out for another 
awesome, amazing, and sumptuous recipe. Bye-bye.